Wago and everybody, welcome back to Tamara Recipes. In today's video, I am going to show you how I make some Jamaican festival dumplings in my kitchen. So if you are interested, stick around to the end and let's get right into the video. So I have one and a half cups of flour. I also have half cup of cornmeal. I have two tablespoons of sugar. I have two teaspoons of sugar, sorry. I have half a teaspoon of salt and I have two teaspoons of baking powder now I'm gonna give it a nice mix and then I'm going to use my nice clean hands just to combine all of the dry ingredients together I am also going to add a quarter cup of milk now you can go ahead and use just water or just use the milk but for me I like to use a mixture of the milk and the water so I'm using um, non dairy milk but if you like you can go ahead and use your dairy milk all right so I'm just going to gradually add the water you just want to add it little at a time you don't want to add too much water at once or liquid at once and it spoils your dough all right so gradually add the water or the milk and just knead until it ha makes a soft dough All right. now this recipe is similar to fried dumpling it's just that you added the cornmeal alright so if you have made fried dumpling before then it's just the same steps it's just that some persons they add like some vanilla to it or any type of spice that they like some people add some butter but for me, I don't like the butter, I don't like the spices in mine. But if you like, you can go ahead and add your spices, alright? So as I was stating before, just like when I make a fried dumpling, you add all of those ingredients. But for this recipe, you have to add some cornmeal. You don't want to add too much cornmeal. Because you don't want, you don't want the cornmeal to overpower the flour in the recipe. And you can add more sweetener if you like, but for me, I don't like it. I don't like my festival too sweet. Just a little flavor from the sugar and I'm good, alright? So ensure that you knead your dough properly. And if there's any leftover dough in the bowl, you want to have a, add a little splash of water in the palm of your hand. And you want to get all of that out of the bowl, alright? After doing so... I'm going to cover my dough with a damp paper towel. All right. So I needed my dough for maybe about three to five minutes, depending on how fast you're moving. So after kneading, just form it into a ball, add it to your plate, and you want to cover, as I stated before, with a damp paper towel and let it rest for about twenty minutes. Or until they're ready to prepare it all right so when the, you want to rest it so that the gluten can be developed so that you know your flour friend nice and you know yes guys so I'm gonna come back after that time has passed now it's time for me to form my dough into the festivals all right or into the shape of the festivals now I do it similar to fried dumpling where I take off a small piece of the dough and then I roll it now you want to roll it in well I like to do it this in this form normally if um, festivals have this shape like you form it into some long like long shapes but um some people they do it like how oh, you know they around fried dumpling yeah so it all depends on the shape that you want. Some people even do it in like um, the twisted um, sty um, style. Yeah, it can also be done like that. But for me, I just um, roll my, my dough along and then I put it to rest on a plate and some flour because I don't want it to stick. Alright, so I'm going to pre-eat my oil. I don't want my oil to be too hot because bear in mind that you added sugar into your dough. Alright, so the sugar gonna let it burn. So you don't want to let your your flame or your oil be too hot. I'm using vegetable oil and also you don't want 
to fry on like a high flame because they burn easily all right and you don't want them to burn because first of all they're not gonna taste good and they're not gonna look presentable now i am using enough oil because i don't normally like to deep fry but this is not deep fry this is just using enough oil so that your festival can fry good all right now bear in mind that festival take a lot of oil to fry all right so i prepare the rest of my dough and i'm resting them on a plate until i'm ready to fry now when one side becomes golden brown you want to turn them to the other side now I'm frying my festivals on like a medium low flame because you don't want it to only fry and the outside you know it's cooked you want the internal temperature or the inside of the festival to be cooked as well especially since it has the cornmeal you want to ensure that you allow the dumpling to soak so that you can cook thoroughly alright so as I said before use medium to low flame and fry your festivals nicely all right so i have one set fried so i removed them from the pot and then i added another set now as i said as you see the underside kind of having that nice golden brown color you want to flip it over because you don't want them to start burning all right so this type of dumpling they're kind of hard to turn every time you turn it sometimes it goes back over but just be gentle guys and um fire festivals now many people enjoy the festivals with some jerk chicken or they enjoy it with some fish now for this recipe i'm going to be having mine with some steamed fish but that video will be uploaded in my next upload all right so you'll see how i make my um steamed fish and then I'm going to show you guys how I make some oven jerk chicken. Alright, so if you're new here, subscribe so you not miss any of my videos. And I hope you enjoy the video. If you do and you try the recipe, comment down below and give me your feedback. Alright, so our festivals, they're nicely fried. So I'm going to place them on a paper towel to remove the excess oil. Alright. Now I rested my festivals on the paper towel, just remove the excess oil, so now I put them on a plate. So this is the end product. I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.